We're sailing out from Havstensund on the Swedish west coast. This former fishing village is hugely popular with tourists in the summer, drawn here by pristine waters and the lure of the thousands of islands that dot this coastline. But for a 100-mile stretch, there's a problem. It's serious and, if not tackled, has the potential to last for centuries. The ocean currents turn this into a North Sea dumping ground. But where does all this rubbish come from? Oh, you can see it instantly. It's a plastic, it's a rope, there's a pot. It's within seconds. Oh, I think that suspiciously might be from the UK. We're with a team of local authority workers and volunteers trying to turn back the huge tide of rubbish. It's an uh, intensive and uh, time-consuming uh, work. Yeah. Because it's arriving at almost an industrial level, yeah. yet we're having to, you're having to clean it out by hand. Uh, one cubic metre every hour throughout the year. Bottles, bags, buckets, straws and fishing gear. We even found Nemo. Unfortunately, he's made of plastic. This beach was only cleaned a year ago, but is now plastered in plastic once more. It's almost 50-50, plastic and seaweed. You walk along the vegetation and it would crunch under your feet. You expect that at the seaside, but you expect it to be shells and pebbles and sand, not plastic. A few weeks ago, we were live on Plymouth University's research vessel, testing the waters off the Devon coast. What we found has now been analysed. So that pattern is really polystyrene's fingerprint, isn't it? You're, it is. you're matching its fingerprint it with is. what you know from, from your archives. That's right. This detective work helps scientists to determine where the plastics come from and then hopefully how to stop them entering the sea in the first place. So it's impossible to tell if we've got a piece of polystyrene microscopic scale. Was it originally a, you know, a cup from a coffee or was it from a tray of fish and chips? But we know if we look to the bigger items that it's those fast food packagings commonly made of polystyrene that we're finding a lot of on the shoreline. Tracking it back to original sources, there's a lot of inference involved. Because if we can do that, it helps us understand what some of the potential sources might be. And then that can be quite important if we're trying to track back towards solutions. And while that search for global solutions continues, in Sweden, so does the cleanup. A Canute like show of defiance against a huge wave of plastic pollution. John Maguire, BBC News, Sweden.